Here's a way how you can install Word Center on your Linux PC with using uh, Steam. I already did a tutorial on how you can install Word Center on Linux without Steam, but before because some people asked me to, few people asked me to make a tutorial uh, on how to install Word Center with, un with using Steam, I'm making it now. Okay, before we begin, make sure that you have a 64 bit operating system. Uh, Word Center on Linux is only available if you have a 64 bit operating system. There isn't a 32 bit uh, version out there for Linux. And if you have a 32 bit operating system, your best bet will be to run uh, Word Center through Wine, or at least try running it through Wine. Okay, before we end, and one more thing that make sure that your uh, uh, computer, your hardware is uh, meeting the minimal system requirement of this game. Here is the minimal system requirement, and if you have a better PC, then let's start, or if you, you match this specification. Okay, this is a tutorial that I made uh, one year ago on how you could install. Uh, War Center without Steam, and let's now make a tutorial on how we can install War Center with Steam. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna show you how you how you can get Steam. It's a native client, and uh, you can install a lot of games like that through Steam. There is a lot of Linux native Linux games available on Steam. Okay, we don't need this or this. Okay, here is Steam. We should go to steam, steampower.com. I'll link this. Uh, 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 I'll link this in the description below. And what we need to do is press install Steam. And uh, most probably, uh, you should be running a uh, operating system, a Linux operating system, a distribution set. Uh, set whatever they are called. Well, supports and uh, in a lot of uh, in a lot of distributions you can get steam through uh, your software center the software center you use and uh, if I am I'm pretty sure that if I look in my software center or uh, Ubuntu software center there might be a steam uh, available there and you can install it from it but this is basically the same same thing. So press install steam. This will download a small dev file. Yeah, let's download this. Let's install it on save it on desktop. Save. We don't need this. Okay. Let's select this. Let's double click on it. And it will open a software center. Let's press install. Let's enter our super secure password. If it will ask us, okay, it asks us. Okay, also right, also right, and it will start to download. Or no, first it will install something, and then it's gonna start the download. Then we're gonna log in into Steam, and uh, uh, then we're gonna find or Thunder on Steam, and we're gonna start the installation. Okay. And uh, it, it is a good idea to have proprietary drivers installed on your Linux PC. You get much better performance like that. Let's for, for Steam. Steam. Let's select Steam. Okay. Okay. Agree if you agree. Okay. And it should start a long boring download. And uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Pause the video and come back after the download is complete. Okay, as you can see, it uh, installed Steam. Now let's press login in, in the existing account. I'm gonna log in and come back uh, after I did. Okay, uh, what is this? Let's press enter here. Okay, sure, great. Okay, let's uh, search for. Uh, not library store. Okay, this is our store with your Steam account is available. 
is available here from you I don't care okay take me to stop okay let's search for war thunder and war or thunder okay let's select this and uh, let's uh, press uh, play game and it will start the download and it will uh, it will uh, it will start the download and after that we're gonna you're gonna start uh, the game as you would start any other game from Steam okay and basically that's it Thank you for watching, hope it was helpful. Okay, as you can see it finished installing or Thunder. And let's press play. And uh, it should start the launcher. And we're gonna press play and it will start. After it's gonna download some updates again. A lot of fun. But that's all to it. Let's run in windowed. Uh, let's run this for testing in 720. That's a lot of fun. So we took 12 gigabytes to download and it's still downloading some files. Great. I'm gonna pause and come back after it's finished downloading. Okay, okay, as you can see it finished downloading it. Let's press play and it should start the game okay and as you can see it starts at it okay thank you for watching hope it was helpful you can you can clearly can see you can use steam to download different games uh, native linux games and uh, not all games requires a 64 bit operating system okay thank you for watching it was helpful please like comment and subscribe